He does not drink. He does not do drugs. He's very family oriented. If he's not with me, he's with his kids. Kelly Gissendanner sits in a crowded living room among friends, telling us she knows no reason why anyone would want to hurt her husband, 30-year-old Douglas Gissendanner. The last time she talked with him was Friday. He was leaving a party around 10 o'clock in the evening and heading home, but he never made it. Police say his car was found Saturday in a northeastern part of Gwinnett County, torched. There was no sign of Gissendanner. Uh, we've also done an aerial search using our infrared with the helicopter, and uh, that's been to no avail. Uh, possibly tomorrow at some point, uh, we'll have uh, uniformed officers as well as detectives. We'll go to the area where the vehicle was uh, located and probably do a grid search of the area where we can try to turn up anything that would help us in locating him. Friends and family have been working tirelessly, they tell me, since learning that Doug Gissendanner has been missing. They've been posting flyers in cars and every place they can possibly put one up. They've posted more than 500 in Fulton, DeKalb, and Gwinnett County. We know there's foul play, and we didn't think that um, he was on a main road. So we went down back roads, we went through woods, we went through dirt roads. Everyone in the neighborhood describes Gissendanner as a church-going family man who ran a small business making shocks for stock cars. We need to know where he is, what's happened for Kelly and, and her kids. We need to find him. What's your hope? Hoping he'll walk in this door or at least pick up the phone and call. Let's, uh, 